Hey guys, so I made a video and I did a live, which I never do on Instagram and it wouldn't let me save. Like I thought it was saved and then whatever. So I was, I made a video because I felt like the Lord wanted me to share an encouragement. Um, basically just saying, do not underestimate how God can use certain people in our lives. And I think that because of the gospel, that gives us like a different worldview. It gives us a different connection with people we wouldn't normally have. Um, because I hear a lot right now just because of the climate of our culture. There's so much division. There's so many people saying, well, this you can't speak to this because of this, or you haven't gone through it, or your skin color isn't the same as mine. Therefore, you don't know, you can't. And that is a complete lie because can it help when someone has walked through a similar journey as you? Yes, of course that can help. But I have had people speak into my life, shape the way I viewed things that I probably would have never encountered if I had not known Jesus. Because the gospel dismantles racism. The gospel dismantles this division because there's no partiality. And that we are all on the same level field when you know who Jesus is. There's no one above, there's no one under because you know you have nothing to offer. <laughs> that the only good that you are offering comes from him. So we can't even take any credit. And the point behind all of this is if you believe you have something to offer someone who is in a hopeless situation and you feel like the Lord gives you a word for them or you feel like the Lord wants you to you know, speak into their life because you care about the one in front of you, do it. Don't question, oh, well, I'm not black or I'm not, you know, I don't come from this kind of background or I, didn't, I wasn't brought up this way. Those are all distractions so that the enemy can keep the person hopeless and so that you don't step out and see the faithfulness of God in being obedient to him. And as I said before, I have friends right now who I don't really honestly do not believe I would be friends with if it wasn't for the fact that our, both our foundations are founded in Christ and it just connects you with a person. It can connect you. This is how powerful the gospel is, is that it can connect you with someone who you have never met it could be the first time you're ever meeting and just because you your life is grounded and rooted in christ there's just a connection there i have made connections with people through instagram that i have yet to meet in person but we just connect because of the spirit that's powerful only the gospel can do that the last thing i'll leave you with is god doesn't even even language is not a barrier to God connecting and encouraging his people. And the reason I know that is because I experienced it when uh, I took a missions trip to Africa. I was in Mozambique. And we went to a Sunday service and it was in a small little hut, dirt floor. And at the end of the service, there was this older woman there. And she must have been like, probably 65, close to 70, which is rare in Africa because of the death rate. And I remember we walked towards each other and we held hands and we just began to cry. And she couldn't speak English. I couldn't speak Portuguese. So we had, we did not say one word to each other. Something in the spirit connected us. And I don't know exactly <laughs> what all happened in that moment, but I know it was good. And I know it was the Lord and it was just so powerful. And so not even language could separate the Lord encouraging 
our hearts. So do not underestimate allowing someone to speak into your life who may look different than you, that may have may come from a different background than you, and don't underestimate God using you as someone who may have a different background, different skin color, different even language. God can use all of it. And yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you. Um again, my other video got deleted cuz you know, enemy doesn't want <laughs> us to be encouraged and um to come together as one because that's what Jesus wants right now and um for the division to decrease because the gospel as i said dismantles all of those things when we really trust and believe in who he says we are so be an encouragement today to the body i hope you're all having a great sunday and i'll talk to you soon